Okay guys, what's going on? So today we're gonna be putting the diff back in the Miata. I've got it jacked up in the front now, so I've got a bit more room to work with underneath. And it's been about a week since we head out. So first things first, I gotta get the axles back in. In here. Gotta get the axles back into, di into the diff. And I've never done this before, so. We'll see if they just pop back in or whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Then I can get to putting the whole thing back in. And, yeah, that's where we're at right now. We just finished tightening all the drive shaft holds down to the power plant. This is, I was calling this the subframe in the last video, but I kind of looked it up and it's the power plant frame. I don't know what the depth is the difference. Um, yeah, so axles are back in, diff is on, use new gasket sealer. Um, yeah, so just need to pop the drive shaft in and we're gonna use it a jack and yeah, I don't know. There's not that much work left to do. It's just basically these power plant bolts and a couple three bolts on each side here, the one main one, and then two holding on the bracket, a couple here four here, four here, and there's nothing through the middle, just just like three on this end. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, it's just starting to rain and we're just under the car here. So the diff is somewhat back in. We just kind of need to finish up putting the power plant frame in at the front. It's not really lining up yet. And we got one of the axles in but we need to pop this side out because this isn't matching up and these don't turn. So, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Holy, it's really coming down there. Yeah, it's starting. You're just gonna disconnect the one side, aren't you? Damn it. If you release the e brake. <laughs> what? The fucking rain. I know. If you release the e brake, I should be. Once this wheel turns, the axle's gonna turn. And then it's just gonna line. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Oh well, now we know how we're gonna do it. Let's just give it a try, actually. Okay. Just pop the e-brake. Yeah, just leave it there. Hopefully, it won't roll. Yeah. Don't don't sit in it. I'm not going to. Okay. I actually can't fucking get these. Holy shit. That was a lot. It's off now though? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it does. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Look, it's just spinning free. Uh, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> yo. Know, literally for fucking nothing. Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now, guys. So I'm get. We'll just pop this axle back in, and then uh, call then it we'll, a day. yeah, then we'll call it. A day. Okay, let's do this. So we just got to get that power plant frame back up where it should be, and after that. Um, these bolts are all exhaust bolts, as far as I know. So it's just like three bolts there, or four bolts there. Um, some bolts for bu these two bushings that go like holding up the diff. And I think that should be it. There's really not much to do here today, but 
it's a little bit cloudy so we'll get that started up okay so just got done putting them in took longer than we wanted but it's all in just need some diff fluid um and yeah we got all the bolts back in except for one bolt on the subframe but i don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because there's lots of other ones so it's all in and now it's time to put some diff fluid in and get it off the jacks okay guys so miata's all done i just took it for a little a little rip there and uh with the open header it's super loud real loud inside the like when you're inside the car but um yeah it doesn't hop that much for the welded diff so i'm glad about that and uh everything seemed to be working fine no weird noises nothing so it's mint project complete for the welded diff now it's time for some other plans on this thing stay tuned for that